Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about junior software developers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, I'm wondering what are junior developers typically asked to do in a day or a week? Like on Monday, what would they have on the, what would they have on their mind? I've heard the spectrum from centering a button to a very hard grind to get yourself above water. <laughs> well, well, that's helpful. Uh, I don't really know what to do with that, but yes. Uh, so, this is it's. I mean, some depending on what you're doing, it might vary a little bit from company to company. But on average, uh, and this is sort of the issue with a lot the perspective that a lot of people have on what a junior dev software developer does. There are companies, guys, where they have very, very strict processes and like what can a junior do and what can, you know, what are they not allowed to do. But I'm basically going to tell you that my experience is that a junior software developer does basically the same work as a senior, at least if you're in a product company um, or in a product team. And the only real difference between the two role, like the, the senior and the junior, is that there are of course certain tasks that are so complicated or requires a lot of specific domain knowledge that the junior needs a lot of help. And in an ideal world, they get that help. Not always, but uh, they should. And apart from that, it's basically the same work. I mean, when I work, my juniors and my seniors uh, that work with me, they they, I, there are no junior level tasks. You simply pick up whatever work is necessary and start writing code. The only difference uh, from um, from the perspective of uh, me, who is, well in this case it's me who's the tech lead, uh, is that I just uh, I put the expectations based on who's taking up the role. Now the junior, I mean, if I have a task or we have a task in the in the team that's going to take, say, a day, and a junior picks up that task, I expect that to take at least two days more, usually. And if it's a senior, I expect it to be done in basically a day, because usually when you estimate work, it is from the perspective of someone who knows a lot about software. You usually do that, and that's actually something that I try to make very clear to juniors when we estimate work because they are of course usually very nervous about estimations and things like that and I always make sure that they know that uh, when this is an estimate and I am aware of that if I estimate something from my perspective that does not mean it's your perspective and there is no, I mean we don't talk about it as, I like to try to talk about it openly but it's very sensitive in office politics and stuff like that to talk about performances outside of you talking to your manager. So I try to in the nicest way say that I understand that this might be, it might be nervous and a little bit difficult for someone who is not so experienced but that's okay. The expectation isn't for this person to perform at a senior level, the expectation is to, for them to perform at a junior level and then they basically do the same thing as all the other developers and I can just describe to you like a normal semi-normal day it usually starts with the stand-up meeting and that is I mean what could a junior software developer have on their mind it's usually the same thing as the seniors in my experience which is you know you are either stuck on something uh, or you're gonna pick up some new work or you're planning out your day in your head or you're nervous because you think that somebody is upset with you or you're stressed over a deadline or you know all these sorts of things right but usually it starts with just a stand-up meeting and if you're in the right team you should be able to just say that yeah I'm st stuck or uh, I would need some help here or you just give us you, you give the team a status update on your progress and in the right team you will get help if you're stuck and then you, you should pick a story card, like you pick a piece of work uh, once the meeting is over and start, well, working on it. Uh, then it's a lot of, you know, we usually help out with testing other people's work. So if someone has finished some work and they want to verify that it's working, uh, usually we, uh, in a regular software team, it's usually a rule that you test each other's co code, or it should be, because it makes the code better. 
and so you help out with some manual testing of the feature, you do code reviews, and then of course you do a lot of coding, and once you're done with the coding, or like your coding, you create like a pull request for your work, you wait for feedback on the pull request, and then you read it, and then you adjust the code, and maybe once or twice or whatever you're doing it, uh, you go through that process, and then you merge your work to the master branch and or depending on if you ch handle releases or not you release the thing and then you repeat that process so it's really no different uh, from what a senior software level uh, developer does apart from maybe the uh, I mean uh, if you're the higher up you get the usually it's really more about meetings and aligning people and leadership and stuff like that. If there's, but there's really no real difference between a senior software developer and a junior software developer's workload. It's it really just comes down to how much help do you need to to do the thing that you're doing and how well and stuff like that. It's really all that's what it's about. So what I want you to take away from this is that for a junior software developer, what they're on their mind on a Monday is usually the same thing as a senior. Uh, it's usually just you're working on something, you're thinking of how you're going to structure your code, you, you think about are you fast enough, are you going to meet the deadline, you think about co-workers um, and you know the general feel and other sorts of things. Um, it, but at the end of the day, guys, it's really not much of a difference between a junior's responsibilities and a senior's, apart from, as I said, the amount of meetings possibly that you're involved in, and of course how much help that is sort of reasonable for you to ask for. If you're a super senior software developer, you can of course, you mean you still ask for help, and it's normal for people to want help. But if, uh, for a junior, it's the expectations in a normal, like a sane work environment, is going to be lower. Like you're not going to expect a junior software developer to be able to ship a lot of advanced features without some assistance. Uh, so usually that's what it comes down to and that's also why I tell people that this idea that some people have who are not professionals that a junior level software developer because I mean I guys I interview people like that they send me half-baked uh, code test where like nothing is working and everything is super broken and they go well I'm just a junior you have to understand that I'm not so good and so forth and I go yes absolutely you're that's perfectly fine but as a company and like uh, as a person who's going to hire you I can't hire someone who cannot do the basics because well, I mean the test that they get is a very basic test it's something that is day one stuff without being able to deliver on this simple thing they won't be able to do any type of meaningful work which means we basically have to train them from scratch and that's the I've, as I've told you in other videos that's the that's the distance that a junior has to bridge. You have to be able to at least do the basics of software development to be able to work effectively. Because, as I said, most of the work you're doing is the same work as the seniors. It's just that you do, you're not expected, usually, to be able to perform at the same level. Have a great day.